got it. Oh. Yeah, on that spin rocket. Wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Oh, I think we just got into him. It's decent. Nice. Just all of a sudden. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Coming in weird, I'm like, he's just got a bunch of hooks in his face. What's up, guys? I'm on Lake Panasofsky. Panasonic? Panasofsky? Panasofsky? Lake Pan, Land of the Giants, with Big Fish Bob. That's his new nickname because he caught a 10 on the Winter Haven chain with me about a month ago. Yep. This is my first time. I've lived in Florida my whole life. I don't hear much about this lake. Bob's been coming out here catching a bunch of big fish. We get out here, it's so foggy, you can't see 100 yards from us. And we've just been going down this open water. It's a gorgeous lake. I think the water's pretty clear. And I just missed one. I'm throwing that Berkeley spin rocket. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Some big fish here. So see what we can catch today. About a three, three and a half pounder there. Oh, oh, oh! Popper. The Wapa Plopper. Wapa? See, there's another one with him. Yep. I heard him crushing that thing. I was cleaning the lens on my camera. <laughs> looking over to my right. He sounded so much bigger than that when he hit it. I know. Back rope. Almost. Fish like that, I love dude. Your rules. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're upset about that. No, I'm not, but. That's why. Literally. Little white whopper plopper. Crushed. Bob's on the board. Finally. He did crush it. He did. He missed it and then he hit it. I, like I got bugs crawling all over my face, up under my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. Oh, is that a decent fish? All right. All right, we're catching fish. They gotta go. I got one on that dual pit. Oh, I just got him hooked in the slate. <laughs> Did you thing. see that? <laughs> it's like a tuna. Right, go. It's like a tuna. See how he jumped? Isn't that crazy? That was on that dual pitch. That was crazy. This is on a dual pitch from 13 Fishing. Might look a little different. Buddy of mine up in Arkansas, Josh Curry, custom paints baits. I've talked about his baits on some of my videos. Say that's Curry Customs. It is a 13 Fishing dual pitch. Um, the 94, I'll paint it up. Custom, custom paint. That fish jumped like a tuna though. He's not big, but that was pretty awesome the way. I was wondering, he didn't look like he was big when he blew up on it, but he was fighting so hard. They fight because he was pegged in the side. Got a feeling, a huge feeling. Now the fish just got to eat. There's one, there's one. Right. The lipless. Didn't feel much different than slamming into that moss. I know. See what I mean? Yeah. I thought I just slammed into one. Of course, it's not. But didn't feel much different. 
hooks all over in his face. <laughs> Stop it, dude. Oh, jeez, dude, sorry. Yeah. Got a concussion, my fault. Going? No, no. They're here. Well, at least it wasn't like a six or seven pounder or anything. What was that? Said so at least it wasn't like a six or seven pounder or something. You hit it like a hammer though. Yep, there's that big old mat. Whoa, did I just lay into one? Please be a fish. Please, it's not. Not? It is. Oh, there's a decent one. Can't even tell. Can't even tell if you're catching a fish or not. That's what the scary part so is. Much, uh, so much grass. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Come over here to flip. And Bob, while I'm rigging up, Bob catches two on a lipless. <laughs> of course. A couple pounds. There's one. <laughs> hit that thing as soon as you see him hit it. Right when it hit the water. Oh, he's running right at me. It's not very big. Oh, that prop bait again. Schooling fish. Fat little jokers. He's got a shiner or something stuck down in his throat. See the tail? Oh, jeez. Yeah. He broke my rod tip off. Oh. Just doing that. Oh. Now I'm gonna stab you in the head. Jerk. Rod did he break? Seven three medium heavy. Can't have anything nice. <laughs> the spot that we actually found by accident, or either one. All right. Go to both, really. They're yeah. only a couple hundred yards apart. Yeah. Let's catch one of these fish that are about to start blowing up on bait fish. See him pushing the bait, right there. See, see him just throw the bait. Oh, there he got it. See how they're waking up behind those shad? Did he come off? Came off. See, as soon as it hit the water, he pushed it up in the air. That's good shad right there. That's the, that's the stuff. Oh my God, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's what they were, he was pushing those fish, those shad. I missed them. Set the hook on these or you let them dive uh, a little bit? I just kind of lean into them downward. Like pull it so you're pulling it back in their face. I know a lot of the guys that set upwards, they miss them. So I just kind of, when they hit my top water, I just kind of go down towards the water. Alright. For the most part. Top water has been repeated already. Yeah. Seems like weird. Cool. Oh, that looked better. That looked bigger. He's definitely bigger. Oh, I got one too. Jesus. Oh, that's Dude, a nice one. I got, I got a little tiny one. Dude, he's got size. Hold on. Oh, that's a good one. Hold on. Billy flopped that one. My chest camera's not working. He's got hooks everywhere. Come here. Yeah. I didn't want to stick my hand in there. I know. <laughs> he uses a net, but whatever. Yeah. I got two nets. One on each. One on each hand. Yep. <laughs> the Wapa Plopa, finally. Wapa Plopa. 
Let's show this to the camera. Look at that. Land of the Giants. He just <laughs> missed a really big one on this little 90 whopper plopper. But he said so many bad words, I can't put it in video. <laughs> just kidding. So, but then uh, we got a double. I still have a fish on there, don't I? Yep. I got, he just caught that on a whopper plopper. It's all about as dead calm and sunny. That's a good five pounder. Yeah. Right there. It's our only good fish today besides like the three and a half I caught this morning. We have missed some big ones. Let me throw this one back. My chest camera's dead. Yeah, I'm worried about that one. That's I'll get him. It's gonna wiggle on me. Next to the giant. He caught that five pounder. <laughs> and I caught this one at the same time. Look at that. <laughs> but it's been kind of a challenge. Bob's been catching some big fish out here. And uh, some real big fish. And we had some high expectations for the day. And that fog kind of just laid into us this morning. And I think that we had like a 20 minute flurry of bites, jeez. We had like a 20 minute flurry of bites, missed most of them. And then the sun just came out. And for whatever reason here, we found a big school of shad. There's big schools of shad pushing through here. Big, like that big shad. And uh, we're catching them on top water. They're hitting that whopper flopper, aren't they? Yes, I almost they told are. you not to throw it. I would throw one on there. Well. I'll throw this, yeah. just to be different. Just to I'm stubborn. Another one just missed it. But that was our first, what I would call, really good fish of the day. Are you kidding me? Did you see that? Do I have this camera on? I do have this camera on. <laughs> I, it, it hit it so hard I froze. <laughs> God, that was crazy. Did a cartwheel over it. We said we needed one more good fish. Yeah. Oh, and he's hooked right through the bottom, right through the handle. There we go. <laughs> I thought he missed it and I stopped. That was awesome. I did not think it was gonna be a top water day here. It's not huge, but he's in that three and three quarter pound range. That was on that Berkeley uh, Chapo. Crushed it, did a cartwheel over it. We've missed a, most of our good fish today, which were early this morning and a little while ago we missed. I did not come here to Lake Panasofki. I looked it up. It's the Seminole Indian word for huge bowl of vegetation no valley of water it is a huge bowl of vegetation about just under 5,000 acres never fished here before i don't hear a lot about it bob's been fishing here said it was a land of giants and there's some big fish here we didn't have good weather conditions today for fishing i mean it was dead calm and foggy this morning every bug that flies in central florida crawled on my face and bit me um and then all of a sudden the sun popped out. Came here thinking we were gonna be throwing lipless crankbaits and bladed jigs or chatterbaits and that type of stuff. And we've thrown, we did catch some on the lipless. We flipped for a little bit, that didn't work. Threw a spinnerbait, that didn't work. I think I caught one small one on a speed worm. Yeah. And the Berkeley uh, spin rocket, which is like a devil's horse. And so, and the, the dual pitch 94, that custom one that my buddy Josh Curry painted for me. But we've, it's been an offshore bite. Um, there's, this, this lake's awesome. So check it out. Actually, don't come here. Don't come to Lake Panasofki because it is an awesome fishery and it needs to stay that way. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.